Hello out there, my name is Samantha and today I'm going to be talking about the film Sunset Boulevard. Uh, it was released in 1950 and it was directed by Billy Wilder and it was also written by Billy Wilder along with Charles Brackett and M.D. Marshman Jr. As part of the film noir genre, Sunset Boulevard tells the story of a washed up silent film actress named Norma Desmond who desperately believes in her mind that she will make a comeback. I found this film very difficult to watch. It was uncomfortable, it was eerie, and melancholy. But I think that was exactly how it was supposed to affect the audience, therefore it was done really well. The film starts out with the male lead, Joe Gillis, floating dead in the swimming pool. So right from the beginning of the movie you know that he will die, which makes the audience all more tense throughout the whole film. Joe Gillis is narrating the story in first person, telling the audience his thoughts and actions, etc., as if he were writing it down as a story after everything had already happened, even though he dies before the end. Um, even when he's dead, he's still narrating, which tells the audience that the purpose of his narrative is simply to explain his experience with Norma Desmond. There are a lot of close-up shots of Norma Desmond, um, who is always making very exaggerated facial expressions. Her eyes open really wide, which is a big indicator of her being stuck in the world of silent film acting, because they always had to over-dramatize their expressions in silent films to make up for the lack of sound. When she smiles, she smiles as big as she can, and when she's upset or distraught, you can see it in every inch of her face. This, for me, was the creepiest part of the movie, because even though there's sound and dialogue, it's still acting as a silent film movie actress would, and so everything becomes twice as dramatic, and it's very overpowering. I noticed a lot of spotlights on Norma's face as well. The only time she was in the dark was when she was watching herself in the silent film on the projector. Always having her face in the light was another subtle hint of her inner mind obsessing over being the star. She believes she is and always will be the main attraction. Basically, everything about how this film was made was designed to remind you that Norma Desmond is the most important character, which is exactly how she feels about herself. So it's almost as if you're forced to live inside her own psychosis throughout the film. This is probably why it made me feel so awful and uncomfortable. Anyway, if you haven't seen this film, I would recommend watching it, just to experience the psychological effect it has on you. It gave me really strange dreams, um, but I think it was, I think it was really well done. So that's all for me, and um, take care and thank you for watching.